you could stream on Twitch for hours and hours and hours, but people aren't going to find you because the people that have the highest amount of viewers are at the top of the list. Now you're sitting all the way at the bottom of the list. If you're playing a game that's saturated, you're even further down the bottom of the list. So it's very unlikely that people are going to find you. Uh, yeah, I think like streaming long hours, it doesn't really make sense to me. Make, make the content and like have people come in and, uh, and connect with people and stuff but you need to make content outside of twitch and then bring them over to twitch if you want to promote yourself on twitter right do not go on twitter and post um live messages for example like i i did it at the start and it was it was um hurting me because i had no followers and people like the followers that i did get on twitter they were just unfollowing me so basically i'd i'd stream like every day or every other day i'd go on twitter I'd post, hey guys, I'm live, like with all the spam chat and all that shit. And then um, I, I wouldn't get anywhere with it. But there's there's real people on the other end of this, right? So you need to give them some kind of value. And it's the same with YouTube or any other platform. If you want to get somewhere in these platforms or like um, website, you need to provide people with valuable content. Now, valuable content is either like entertaining, educational, emotional. There's ways that you, certain ways that you connect with uh, people and certain people will come to your stream for that one thing. For example, in my stream, I like to have heart to hearts like this. I like to help people and I like, I, I like to be entertaining as well. I like to make people laugh. So on my YouTube, I kind of focus on making funny videos and stuff, but you need to give people value in your content. So don't just go on Twitter or any other social media and start posting shit. Post valuable stuff, like post um, clips of your gameplay work really well. If you've got like funny gameplay or stuff like that, those things work really well. So if you can post stuff like that, then it's golden. The more people that you're put in front of, the more chance you've got of people finding you and following you and uh, supporting you. It's, it's really, really, really difficult. And like, like, look at me. I've, I've been streaming on and off for two years. And okay, I have almost 300 followers now, which is... I think it's a fairly good achievement, but some people rise to fame so quick, man. And I think it is luck of the draw as well. Someone might have a funny clip or something that just goes viral and that's all it takes for them to get known and people to just go crazy over them. But um, some people are just unlucky. I, I remember watching this video on YouTube of this um, this guy who was a streamer and he, he literally was crying on camera saying, I stream like hours a day and no one watches me. He was like, what's the point? And, and he showed his room and his room's like trashed because he's not taking care of himself because he's dedicating so much time to Twitch and streaming that it's affecting his like health and life, you know? And that's tough when it's like that. But the key is to not give up. Do not give up. As soon as you give up, then you just got no chance. Like the people that are, are making it in, in the streaming world or any other like YouTube or anything like that, they didn't give up. They've been streaming or posting on YouTube for years and years. You look at all the big YouTubers and stuff, look at their oldest videos and you'll see like four to 10 years or what, however long um, they've been posting for. But you'll see many years on there. So it just takes time. It takes time and dedication. This is one thing that I will not give up on. Like I've always tried other stuff, uh, but I'll never give up, give up on streaming because I, I love it. I enjoy it. I could easily do this all day as a full-time job, easily, and not get, bo not get bored of it. Because you just play other games, right? Or just do different type of content. I think YouTube is really good, man, honestly. Definitely worth posting uh, clips on YouTube, especially if your content is good. But it's hard to create good content as well. It's really, really tricky. If it's a chore, then where's the enjoyment? What's the point? Yeah, it's the same with work, man. Like anything you do in life. If you don't enjoy something, guys, only you can make the change um, to make your life better or make yourself happy. When I, when I was younger, I started working when I was young and I, I did so many shit, horrible jobs like um, building work, working in warehouses, like really heavy lifting, a lot of hard graft. I used to travel to London every like five o'clock in the morning and then get back at like eight o'clock at night. And um, I hated it. My mum always used to say to me, do not be out of work. Make sure make sure you're in work. So I'd be like, I'd be in this miserable job and I'd say like, I really need to leave this job. It's making me miserable. And my mum would say, no, don't do it. But as I got older and started like making my own decisions and stuff, I just, I'd just leave. If I'm not happy, I'll just go. Because where one door closes, another one will open. But not always the case. You still have to put effort. As long as you put effort in, then you will uh, another door will open for you. You can't just sit back and hope that something will come your way. It doesn't really work like that. But yeah, if you're not happy in something, just change it. Your life is in your hands, man.
Thank you.